Well, today marks a grim anniversary for the Limbrook community. 60 years ago, two Limbrook fire trucks collided while responding to a reported house fire. The tragic accident claimed the lives of three Limbrook volunteer firefighters and a school crossing guard. Now, News 12's Virginia Huey is with their fire department and engine company one, who's hosting memorial services to remember the lives lost. 60 years have passed since Limbrook lost three firefighters and a crossing guard in a tragic accident. But the memory of their service and sacrifice lives on in the department's promise to never forget. At a somber ceremony, members of Limbrook's Bravest saluted three firefighters and a crossing guard killed in the line of duty on this day 60 years ago. Engine Company No. 1 and Tally Ho Engine Company No. 3 were racing to a house fire when they collided at Peninsula Boulevard and Hempstead Avenue. Crossing guard Rosalie Roy was helping children cross the street when she was struck and killed by one of the fire trucks. I tear quite frequently thinking of them. 95-year-old Carl Tuhi was the first assistant chief of the Lindbrook Fire Department at the time. He was the first on the scene. The sadness that came into to the department with the men being killed. And I arrived at the scene and saw the two pumpers that collided. I realized how serious it was. Inside the Limbrook Fire Department, there's a scrapbook with old newspaper clippings about the fallen firefighters. New members are encouraged to look at it to learn from their example of service and sacrifice. In Limbrook, Virginia Huey, News 12.